just before this tutorial starts, I do want to mention that I've recently released Act 1 of a new horror game of mine called Mushi's Kitchen Reheated, which is a reboot to my Mushi's Kitchen game series. It is free and available on Itch.io now, so consider trying it out if you like. And anyways, let's continue on with the tutorial. Hey everyone, I'm Aganix here and welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial here on the channel. So this tutorial is going to be pretty simple and it has to do with generating colliders for your meshes in Godot. So let's say for example you've just made a model in Blender, like for example how I have this custom terrain which I've made in Blender. And let's say for example you add it into your game and then you realize to yourself, oh wait a second, how am I going to add in precise collision for this terrain? What am I going to do? Well, let me quickly show you guys. So what you want to do is you want to click on your mesh, on your custom mesh. And then what you'll notice when you click on a mesh instance 3D in your scene is that you'll then see this little icon pop, it, pop up here which says mesh. And what you want to do is you want to press this and then you want to click on create collision shape. So when we click on create collision shape, we will have a few options here. So we can either create a collision shape 3D as a sibling, or we could even add a static body child to it as well. So what a static body child means is that basically adds a static body 3D with a collision shape 3D onto your mesh. Or you could just simply create a collision shape 3D if you've already got a static body 3D, so then you don't have to create a whole extra one. But what I'm going to do for this tutorial, since I don't have a static body 3D already for my terrain, is I'm going to actually go static body child. And then with the collision shape type, I just uh, recommend doing tri mesh. And then, uh, well, I mean, you can play around with these different options if you want to, but I usually just do tri mesh. And then we can go create. And boom, as you can see, our terrain now has collision, and it is pretty precise as well. Before we do test it out, I am just going to add in some lighting. So I'm going to add a sun into the scene, and then uh, an environment as well. Alrighty, so now the lighting should be all good, and we can test it out. Alrighty, so as you can see... Uh, I can now walk around on the terrain and the collision is all fine and precise. So yeah guys, that there is how you simply generate uh, colliders for meshes in Godot. It is very simple and easy. And uh, yeah, so this is very useful, especially for terrains. You know, this is something that is very good to use for terrains, like with what I've done here. And yeah, I can just simply walk around on all these bumpy hills and not have to worry about, you know, uh, trying to make sure the collision's all precise because you can just simply generate the collision and it is all, you know, done for you. So anyways, guys, that is the end of this tutorial. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.